From the ground crew ensuring precision on the runway, to the high-flying officers orchestrating strategic maneuvers, the Royal Air Force rank structure is a testament to discipline, expertise, and a rich tradition of service. In this video, we will unravel all the ranks of the Royal Air Force. The Royal Air Force operates on a remarkably efficient management framework, where every member is assigned a specific role and rank. The assigned rank delineates the degree of responsibility associated with their respective roles. Aviators in the Royal Air Force come under one of three rank structures. Enlisted Aviator, Non-Commissioned Aircrew, or Commissioned Officer. Let's start with the ranks of enlisted aviators. Enlisted aviators form the largest segment of the workforce in the Royal Air Force, utilizing their specialized skills to fulfill essential ground support functions. Enlisted aviators start out as air recruits during basic training. Upon completing basic training, air recruits progress to the rank of Air Specialist Class II. In this rank, Aviators undergo specialized training and support in areas such as intelligence, logistics, or communications. Specific duties can vary based on specialization and the evolving needs of the Royal Air Force. However, their responsibilities may include operational support and equipment maintenance among others. Above Air Specialist Class II is the rank of Air Specialist Class I. This rank is non-supervisory, and aviators at this level typically hold advanced training and expertise in a specific field. Aviators in this rank are expected to excel in problem-solving, decision-making, and upholding the highest standards within their specialization. Collaboration with other units and continuous professional development are integral aspects of their responsibilities. Next in order of seniority is the rank of Air Specialist Class 1 Technician. This rank is also non-supervisory, since holders are not NCOs and cannot administratively discipline other personnel. Holders of this rank serve in technical roles only. They are highly skilled professionals with advanced technical expertise in a specific field, such as aircraft maintenance or avionics. Their responsibilities include complex problem-solving, participation in operational planning and support, and training and mentorship of junior technicians. Above Air Specialist Class 1 Technician is the rank of Lance Corporal. This rank is only found in the RAF Regiment and is usually held by an RAF Regiment Gunner. Holders of this rank specialize in combat tactics, weaponry, field craft, and force protection. They are part of a highly trained team carrying out various crucial duties to defend RAF bases and overseas air operations. Lance Corporals have powers of charge over enlisted aviators in the ranks of Air Recruit to Air Specialist Class 1, but not Air Specialist Class 1 technicians, who can only be charged by an NCO above the rank of Lance Corporal. Next in order of seniority is the rank of corporal. A corporal usually holds a command within a section or team with responsibility for supervising and leading junior personnel. They contribute to operational readiness, participate in training and development activities, and play a crucial role in maintaining unit discipline and standards. Their specific duties may vary based on trade, specialization, and unit assignment. However, corporals are involved in implementing security measures, communicating effectively within their unit, and overseeing task execution. Above corporal is the rank of sergeant. Promotion to the rank of sergeant comes with increased responsibility and leadership. They lead and supervise a team, contribute to operational readiness, and actively participate in training and development. Sergeants play a vital role in maintaining discipline, implementing security measures, and coordinating tasks within their unit. They also serve as advisors, contribute to decision-making processes, 
and engage in personnel management. Next in order of seniority is the rank of Chief Technician. This rank is only held by aviators in technical trades. A Chief Technician holds a senior non-commissioned officer position with significant technical expertise. Their responsibilities include leading and supervising technical teams, overseeing maintenance operations, contributing to operational readiness, and providing guidance in the training and development of personnel. Chief technicians play a crucial role in maintaining discipline, implementing high standards of technical performance, and ensuring the effective use of resources. They also serve as advisors and contribute to decision-making processes within their area of expertise. Next up is the rank of flight sergeant. Aviators in non-technical trades usually progress directly from sergeant to flight sergeant. Promotion to this rank comes with additional responsibility and leadership duties. Holders of this rank lead and supervise personnel, contribute to operational readiness, and participate in training and development. Flight sergeants play a crucial role in maintaining discipline, implementing security measures, and coordinating tasks within their unit. They also serve as advisors, manage personnel, and contribute to decision-making. The highest rank for enlisted personnel in the Royal Air Force is the rank of Warrant Officer. A Warrant Officer holds a senior leadership position in the RAF. The role involves providing expert guidance, leadership, and mentorship to junior personnel. Warrant officers contribute significantly to maintaining discipline, standards, and operational effectiveness within their unit. They act as advisors to commanding officers, assist in decision-making processes, and play a key role in the overall management of personnel. The most senior warrant officer in the Royal Air Force is appointed as Warrant Officer of the Royal Air Force, serving as the key advisor to the Chief of the Air Staff. Next up are the non-commissioned aircrew ranks. Aircrew in non-commissioned roles operate aboard aircraft and helicopters, assisting in executing air patrols across the United Kingdom. Similar to the enlisted ranks, non-commissioned aircrew ranks fall under the other ranks NATO rank category. The lowest rank for non-commissioned aircrew is the rank of sergeant aircrew. A sergeant aircrew holds a non-commissioned officer position with specific responsibilities related to air operations. This role involves leading and supervising aircrew personnel, contributing to operational readiness, and participating in training and development activities. A sergeant aircrew plays a crucial role in maintaining discipline, implementing safety measures, and ensuring effective communication within their team. They also contribute to the execution of airborne tasks and may be involved in mission planning. Above Sergeant Aircrew is the rank of Flight Sergeant Aircrew. Holders of this rank hold a senior non-commissioned officer position with specific responsibilities related to air operations. This role involves leadership, supervision, and contribution to the operational readiness of aircrew personnel. Members in the Flight Sergeant Aircrew rank play a pivotal role in maintaining discipline, implementing safety measures, and coordinating airborne tasks within their team. They also guide training and development, contribute to mission planning, and participate in decision-making processes. The highest rank for non-commissioned aircrew is the rank of Master Aircrew, which is equivalent to the rank of warrant officer. A master aircrew holds a highly skilled and experienced position within aircrew personnel. This role involves leadership, supervision, and the highest level of proficiency in air operations. Master aircrew members contribute significantly to maintaining operational readiness, providing expert guidance, and participating in decision-making processes. They play a crucial role in discipline, safety implementation, and coordination of airborne tasks within their team. As seasoned professionals, master aircrew are involved in training and development activities, ensuring the continual advancement of their team's skills. Next up are the commissioned officer ranks of the Royal Air Force. Commissioned officers 
are the RAF's equivalent of a management role. They start their career in the Royal Air Force as officer cadets during initial training at RAF Cranwell. Upon graduating from initial training, they are commissioned in the rank of pilot officer. Holders of this rank typically undergo training in both general military duties and specific responsibilities related to their chosen specialization. Pilot officers may initially focus on developing their flying skills, gaining experience, and fulfilling various support roles. Above pilot officer is the rank of flying officer. The role of a flying officer involves transitioning to operational responsibilities, focusing on the development of flying skills and leadership capabilities. Flying officers may pilot aircraft or serve in various non-flying roles, contributing to the overall effectiveness of RAF operations. They are expected to undergo continuous professional development, adhere to military standards, and demonstrate leadership qualities. Next in order of seniority is the rank of flight lieutenant. A flight lieutenant plays a crucial role in the leadership and management of air operations. Responsibilities of flight lieutenants include commanding and coordinating activities within their unit, ensuring operational readiness, and contributing to mission planning. They may lead teams of personnel, oversee training and development, and participate in decision-making processes. They also play a vital role in maintaining discipline, safety standards, and effective communication within their unit. Above flight lieutenant is the rank of squadron leader. A squadron leader plays a key leadership role within a squadron. Squadron leaders are responsible for managing personnel, operations, and resources. Their duties include mission planning, coordination and execution, as well as ensuring discipline, adherence to standards, and the professional development of subordinates. Next in order of seniority is the rank of wing commander. A wing commander holds a senior officer position with significant responsibilities. This role involves commanding and leading a wing, which is a group of squadrons or units. A wing commander is responsible for the overall operational efficiency, readiness, and strategic planning within their assigned wing. They play a crucial role in decision-making processes, mission execution, and personnel management. Above wing commander is the rank of group captain. They play a crucial role in operational planning, strategic decision-making, and ensuring the overall effectiveness of their assigned unit. Group captains are involved in personnel management, training, and maintaining high standards of discipline. They collaborate with other senior officers, contribute to policy development, and provide leadership in the execution of RAF missions. Next in order of seniority is the rank of Air Commodore. An Air Commodore is typically responsible for commanding large operational units or serving in significant staff roles. This role involves strategic planning, leadership, and decision-making at a senior level. Air Commodores play a crucial role in shaping policies, overseeing operational effectiveness, and managing resources within their assigned responsibilities. They contribute to the overall command structure, providing expert guidance, and ensuring the successful execution of RAF missions. Above Air Commodore is the rank of Air Vice Marshal. An Air Vice Marshal holds a senior leadership position, typically serving as a high-ranking officer responsible for overseeing and managing operational activities within a command or directorate. This role involves strategic planning, decision-making, and providing expert advice to higher-ranking officers and government officials. Air Vice Marshals play a crucial role in shaping policies, ensuring operational readiness, and contributing to the overall effectiveness of the Royal Air Force. Next in order of seniority is the rank of Air Marshal. An Air Marshal holds a high-ranking position, typically serving as a senior officer responsible for strategic planning, decision-making, and overseeing large-scale air operations. This role involves leadership, coordination, and management of Air Force resources to ensure operational effectiveness. 
An Air Marshal may serve as the Deputy Chief of the Air Staff, contributing to the development of Air Force policies, providing guidance to subordinate officers, and playing a key role in shaping the overall direction of the RAF. Above Air Marshal is the rank of Air Chief Marshal. An Air Chief Marshal holds the highest rank possible for a serving member of the Royal Air Force. This rank is held by the Chief of the Air Staff, responsible for strategic leadership and decision-making. This role involves overseeing the entire Air Force, setting policies, and ensuring operational readiness. Air Chief Marshals contribute to national defense strategy, represent the RAF at high-level meetings, and collaborate with other military branches. They play a crucial role in resource allocation, personnel management, and the overall effectiveness of the RAF. The highest rank in the RAF is Marshal of the Royal Air Force. The holder of this rank serves as a ceremonial figurehead and advisor. This position is typically held by a retired senior officer with an illustrious career. The role involves representing the RAF at official events, advising on strategic matters, and serving as an ambassador for the organization. While the Marshal of the Royal Air Force does not have an active operational role, their influence and experience contribute to the prestige and heritage of the Royal Air Force. That's all for the ranks of the Royal Air Force. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos.